Friday afternoon, everyone. I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley. So the pollen report is still not looking good. It's actually gone up for trees and also mold spores. And ragweed continues to be the winner, really making us suffer. You can see that in the high category now across eastern Oklahoma. A live look now at our South Tulsa camera from the ORU campus at Cplex Tower. Extra blue today for your Friday. Wonderful shot there towards the Arkansas River. 88 now in Bristow, 86 in Old Bolton, 85 in Muskogee, and also to the mid 80s out to the east in Tahlequah. 86 degrees is your current temperature now at the Tulsa International Airport. That marks our daytime high today so far, eventually into the lower 90s. Sunset tonight comes in at 7:13. Now the heat index is going to be going up for mid to late afternoon, probably anywhere from the upper 90s to right around 100 degrees for that feels like temperature. Now the lake levels, they have gone up over the past few days. It's been so wet this week with showers and thunderstorms, several inches of rain. So we're adding that to the lakes here. Eight feet above normal for Keystone, now six for Ulaga, and nine feet above normal for Fort Gibson. This is a live look at Grand Lake. Looks great today there, extra blue. Part of the Buffalo Run Casino and Resort Weather Camera Network. Now your future track clouds and precipitation for the rest of today, mostly sunny skies this afternoon, you'll notice those breezy south winds. We're talking about gusting upwards of 30 miles per hour. Mainly clear skies tonight, a wonderful Friday night to get out and about, and then to kick off the weekend tomorrow, notice the changes coming in with increasing cloud cover, becoming mostly cloudy starting up tomorrow morning. Then that will continue for the afternoon. It looks like the best chance for showers and storms will be no. tomorrow afternoon, especially to the north and northwest of Tulsa. Tulsa has about a 30% no, showers tomorrow. The higher chance really goes up as you get closer to the Kansas border and into Kansas itself. So from the Storm Prediction Center for tomorrow, they have highlighted, just updated there, a slight risk has been pulled down now and throughout far northern Oklahoma around the Interstate 35 corridor. So again, tomorrow in the afternoon, early in the evening, the best chances for those severe storms north and northwest of Tulsa, especially as you get into Kansas. But we'll continue the quiet thing today, mostly sunny and breezy. Those south winds gusting upwards of about 30 miles per hour, 92 degrees eventually. So the average daytime high for this time of year is into the upper 70s. And we're talking about lower 90s this afternoon and those gusty south winds. You'll notice those all day long. Your latest 10-day forecast into the mid-80s for your weekend here. We have upper 80s for Sunday. A slight chance of showers on Sunday. The better chance tomorrow, Aaron, especially north and northwest of Tulsa. Then we're talking about next week with daytime highs still into the 80s to around 90. Slight chance for showers on Wednesday. Our next front comes in Thursday, cooling us 